So? So? Seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the offer. Offer may be a bit strong. Is that? Bloody Templar. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell you done this time, Pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kemar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de Lasser's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de Lasser. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse. It's a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lesser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. You really think we find him? After all this time, he arrived. His luck can't last forever. Tell me now. Francois Germain believed that the air was there. Francois Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on the Rue Saint Antoine. Why? What the? Please? Slow down! Ah. 
Where are you going? Wait for me! Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was passed out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Upstairs. That's where his workshop was. Let's go. It might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. Racing. Just like that time in Marseille. A bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could... Do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau. As soon as... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down. Do you see them? The windows across the street. Watch out!
you copy. Good bloody work out there. You found him. Francois Thomas Germain, Grandmaster of the Templars and a sage to boot. By our reckoning, that's the second sage to rise to the Templar's highest rank. A troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain, stick with Arnaud. He might have outlived this Grandmaster, and that could lead us to his body. Fishing out. <laughs>